cruise industry is experiencing tremendous growth, and Baltimore is the only cruise port servicing the state of Maryland. There are a number of dynamics currently taking place that will require an additional port in the Chesapeake Bay region to serve the cruise industry growth and changes occurring. Solomon's Island, Maryland contains unique assets and is a logical choice for a second port, which would ensure the Maryland economy capitalizes with the cruise ship industry growth. The cruise industry is experiencing increased bookings compared to other forms of travel. A larger proportion of groups and families, including multi-generational families, embarking on cruises is having a positive impact on the industry and is likely to secure interest from the next generation of cruisers as well. Cruise Lines International projects an increase of over 1 million passengers per year. Added to this is the massive investment being made between now and 2020 in which Cruise Lines will invest more than $25 billion to build 55 new ships with a trend of new ships being much larger than the existing ships. The second port is a necessity because the Baltimore cruise port cannot accommodate these new larger ships because they will not fit under the key bridge. Additionally, there are a number of cruise ship lines that have expressed a desire to home port in Maryland, but space is limited at the Baltimore terminal from existing activities. The Patuxent River and the Solomons Island, Maryland community contain unique assets that make it a natural choice for a second cruise ship home port. Creating this second port in Solomons would not compromise the activities in the Baltimore port. Rather, it would complement the Baltimore port through support of an expansion of the Baltimore logistics space, creating additional jobs in Baltimore, and most significantly, would ensure Maryland maintains its economic share of the lucrative cruise ship industry, rather than sending the industry to another state that could provide the needed second port. The Patuxent River is a deep water and wide location capable of accommodating the new large cruise ships and provides easy and quick access to the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. Solomons has an existing and underutilized naval support facility just north of the Thomas Johnson Bridge that is a perfect location geographically and is designed for a port facility. Additionally, as part of the state addressing the current demand, plans, and design for a Thomas Johnson Bridge replacement, there are a number of ways the replacement could be constructed to accommodate the new ships and create a tremendous long-term economic return on investment for the bridge replacement rather than just a pure cost. South of the bridge, there are also numerous options that could be considered and possibly configured in conjunction with the facility north of the bridge. Southern Maryland also has an adequate road system to accommodate a port. And since cruise ship departures generally occur late weekend evenings and arrivals are generally scheduled on weekend mornings before dawn, these schedules accommodate getting passengers on and off the ships for quick turnarounds and would limit the impact on current rush hour traffic patterns during the week. Economically, keeping the cruise ships in Maryland at a Solomon's location is expected to generate $90 million annually from outside of Maryland. Approximately $70 million will go directly into the private sector, generating economic activity and jobs. The facility after construction will employ approximately 500 people, directly and indirectly, with competitive skilled jobs, paying good wages. Moreover, hundreds of jobs will be generated in the private sector, ranging from employment in the hospitality industry to construction jobs stimulated by the presence of this economic engine. In summary, a Solomon's Maryland cruise ship port offers a tremendous economic opportunity for the state of Maryland and would ensure Maryland maintains its economic share of the lucrative cruise ship industry rather than sending the industry to another state. For more information on how the various locations shown in this video could be utilized, please contact us by phone or by email.